Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video, I am going to discuss how you can get image histogram, okay? So in my previous video, I have shown you using hist command, how you can get histogram of noise, okay? That is random numbers. Now, what is histogram? What is the fundamental difference in between histogram and bar graph? Although it looks similar, but histogram is different compared to bar graph. Histogram is graphical display of data using bars of different heights. This is obviously as we know. It is similar to that of bar chart, but histogram groups number into ranges. Very, very important point. I'll be showing you with example. The height of each bar shows how many fall into each range. So let me show you one example from this particular website. For detailed explanation, further for and further study i will be giving the link in the description if you want you can check there so for example if i am showing you one this particular example suppose course i have one one two 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 like that three 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 four four and five how many ones are appearing two ones so in the center of the bar graph there will be value one and the height will be two so basically x axis is score distinct scores in, in increasing order or in ascending order and y-axis is frequency how many times this score is appearing like two how many times it is appearing one two three four five five times three is appearing four times four is appearing two times and five is appearing one time so this is what is frequency histogram and same thing we can implement in MATLAB also now if you think about images what is the significance of histogram Histogram can give us the pixel intensity frequency, okay? For a particular intensity level, how many pixels are present? What is the frequency of the pixel? That idea we can get using histogram. For example, if I show you this particular image which we have taken for our this particular experiment. So if I run this whole part, I'll be having one beautiful image of golden retriever, okay? Now, I want to get the histogram of this. Now this is what colored image. So red channel, blue channel, green channel, three different channels are there. First of all, I will be converting this to gray image and then I will be showing the histogram. After that, I will be showing you how to get the histogram for the colored image. Okay, because gray image has only two combination black and white color combination and that is one dimensional that is now some number of rows will be there some number of columns will be there one dimensional matrix right not three different channels so very simple it is very simple to get the histogram of that so what i can do to plot in same figure window i can simply write suppose one comma two comma one maybe because vertically two columns i want to form but one row and here if i just change this to 2 i hope it will work so i have converted this to red to gray okay now click on evaluate selection so it will be giving us one beautiful outcome see this is our image which we are using actually we are using gray color image right so it is better to use here instead of this one let me just if here i am show it will be big okay because we are using we are converting from red green blue to gray color so this is our gray color image and this is its corresponding histogram you can see here clearly the values which the uh, pixels are taking for different frequencies it is shown this x-axis is intensity range like you can clearly see zero means completely black and as we go towards 255 it becomes white in color okay black color is represented by zero and 255 is represented by white oh, white is represented by 255 so these are for this particular intensity value that may be 50 uh, this many pixels are there for uh, this particular 200 intensity level this much pixels are there okay so uh, this this much uh, frequent this is the frequency of pixels so this is what we can get the idea from the histogram we can clearly conclude that the more number of pixels are present in the white side because we can see that the here frequency is quite high near to 255 and in the dark side lesser number of pixels are present okay 
now how to get for red that is colored image you if you want to get the histogram for colored image first step is divide the red green and blue channel and then apply histogram on individual of individual channel okay so for that we don't require this line so we can write like this r c there is red channel equal to a of colon comma colon comma one there is first channel all rows all columns okay so how many we require actually four different columns and let me just copy this and paste it here all right and this will be i am so a our original image and then subplot one comma four comma two i am hist r c and i will be copying this particular template for my green channel and blue channel okay so this will be gc that is green channel and this is okay bc seems bad right <laughs> hc let me write so one four three maybe and one four four all right and here i need to change to two and here i need to change to three so red channel i am extracting like this i am plotting in second column okay that histogram green channel i am extracting uh, using two and i am plotting in third column this will be i gc actually and hc is third that is the blue channel and i am his hc we can write okay let us check i think it is good to go we'll be getting our output properly so this is what is our red channel histogram this is green channel histogram and this is blue channel histogram okay all three are different histograms we are getting and this is our image we are using for this particular experiment right so this is how you can get the histogram of an image okay that may be colored image that may be grayscale image does not matter for the matter of fact so same code i'll be posting in the description box if you want you can check there just I have shown you this because for while discussing the one dimensional signal processing simultaneously I will show you the image processing also because digital signal processing and, di and digital image processing are not separate course those are same only because image is also a signal so whatever uh, algorithm whatever concepts we are applying on our digital signals same we can apply for images also so simultaneously I will be showing both and this might be helpful for your project component in digital signal processing course also surely you will have fun okay because uh, playing with image what we all do at least once we, we have done at least once in our life some we have applied some filters in mobile phone okay maybe snapchat okay so we try to play with and experiment with images same thing i'll be showing using coding in my this playlist okay so if you find this video helpful please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you for watching